हेलो एवरीवन एंड वेलकम टू सिंपली कोट्स यूट्यूब चैनल कौशल दिस साइड एंड आई होप यू गाइस आर डूइंग वेल टुडे विल बी टेकिंग यू थ्रू ब्लॉक लेवल एलिमेंट्स इन एच टी एम एल वी केम अक्रॉस सर्टेन टाइप्स ऑफ एलिमेंट्स सिंस वी स्टार्टेड आर जर्नी विद एच टी एम एल एन एच टी एम एल एलिमेंट इज द कलेक्शन ऑफ अ स्टार्ट टैग इट्स एट्रीब्यूट एंड एंड टैग एंड एवरीथिंग इन बिटवीन इन दिस वीडियो विल सी द टू डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ एलिमेंट्स प्रेजेंट इन एच टी एम एल and we'll lay more emphasis on block level elements but before we begin if you haven't subscribed to our youtube channel already make sure to subscribe to our channel and press that bell icon to never miss any updates on programming videos so without any further delay let's get started elements in html can be categorized into two different categories inline elements and block level elements let's go through the inline elements first and you guys will get an idea about them inline elements in html take as much space as they need and we can add content within them without a line break the bold italic and underline elements are some of the elements that fall under the category of inline elements for example if we have a paragraph written over in the browser and we want to use any of these elements within the paragraph then we don't need a line break in that case all we have to do is to use these elements and without a doubt that thing will work let's use it over here so what we'll do is we'll just write over here inside the body tag let's use a paragraph over here so we'll write here this is a and now we'll use the bold element so let's say we are writing over here this is a paragraph so this is a basic paragraph save the program and you can see it here on the browser we have a paragraph and this particular word over here is bold you can see that paragraph over here is bolder in nature we don't need any line breaks here right the element we used here is bold and it is an inline element this was a basic example of inline elements in html block level elements on the other hand appears on the screen as if they have a line break before and after them there is no need to specify the line break they automatically take the full line or width of the web page and create a line break the paragraph element header element and the list elements fall under the category of block level elements anything that follows these type of elements appears on its own new line the most important block level element is the div element it is used to create the actual layout of the web page by grouping similar types of elements together we can also provide similar css properties to a group of elements present within the div tag so let's just use this tag over here and you guys will understand it much better for using a div tag we have to write here inside the body tag we have to write here div div stands for division fine this tag over here will create a container type of thing in the browser and anything we write inside it will follow a specific pattern in the browser for example if we write here inside the div tag so let's say we have a heading tag present over here so we'll write here this is first group fine so let's say we are creating a group over here now we'll write here this is first group now h4 stands for heading tag is also an example of block level elements so we don't need any line break over here now over here we'll use the paragraph tag which is also a block level element now let's say we are writing over here list of cars fine now after that let's say we are using an unordered list over here so we'll write a ul and inside this we'll add some elements so let's say we are writing over here the name of some cars so let's say we have honda over here then we have let's say hyundai and let's add some more elements so let's say we have bmw as well and finally we have audi fine so these are the four different list items we have now we have enough content inside the div tag save the program and you can see here on the browser that we have a list present over here now we can apply similar css properties to each of the elements present inside the div tag what we have to do is we have to use the div tag over here so what we can do is we can use this div tag inside the css file as well 
but for now we are going to style it on the HTML part only. So what we'll do is we'll use the style attribute and inside style attribute we'll write over here color. So let's say the color is going to be blue. So this is the font color. So we have to write here blue and after this we are going to use another property let's say. So let's say we are writing over here border. Border is going to be 2 pixel solid in nature and let's say black in color. Fine. Now save the program and you guys are able to see the area acquired by the whole div tag. We can align these items present inside the div tag later with the help of CSS properties. We'll discuss it in another video when we go through CSS. For now, let's create another division over here. So what we are going to do is we are going to create another division. So let's write over here div again. So this is another division we have. So what we are going to do is we are going to copy it from here and we are going to paste it inside this div tag. So we are going to name it as the second group we have. So we'll write here second and instead of cars, we are going to write here the name of bike manufacturers. So we'll write here, let's say Benelli and we have Ducati and BMW will remain the same because it is a car and a bike manufacturer. Then we'll write here, let's say at the end, Suzuki. Fine. Now save the program and you guys can see we have another list over here. What we'll do is we'll use some CSS properties here as well. So we are going to write here inside this div tag. We are going to use the style attribute. Now inside this we are going to use the color color is going to be let's say red and we'll write here border as well so border is going to be two pixels solid in nature and let's say green in color fine save the program and you guys can see here we have another division present over here so you can see it is in a new line but it's not clearly visible so let's do one thing we are going to use the break tag over here save the program now and you guys can see both the containers now are clearly visible. Fine. These borders are not visible by default. We can make them visible with the help of CSS properties like we did here. Now you guys might be wondering what the use of this div tag is. So whenever we create the layout of any website, this is the tag we use the most to provide better structure to a web page. This tag along with CSS is of more use than any other HTML tag present today. You will get a better idea about it when we go through CSS in the upcoming videos. So that's all for this video guys. See you in the next one where we'll go through HTML backgrounds. If you enjoyed watching this video, do give it a thumbs up. If you have any doubts, do let us know in the comments below. Please share it with your friends and don't forget to subscribe Simply Code. Thank you.